The trip to the Southwestern Bell Cotton Bowl in Dallas marked the fourth consecutive bowl game for the Wildcats, who have steadily climbed the bowl hierarchy from the 1993 Copper Bowl to the 1994 Aloha Bowl to the 1995 Holiday Bowl and now to the New Year's Day Cotton Bowl. One Wildcat fan called it a religious experience. To many, it was. One thing's for sure, Wildcat spirit was at an all-time high in Dallas. Thousands and thousands of Wildcat fans migrated down Interstate 35 to follow the team, and as more and more purple poured into the Dallas Metroplex area, it became apparent that this would truly be a bold experience to remember. Close to 20,000 purple-clad Wildcat fans jammed into the Starflex on New Year's Eve for the traditional pregame pep rally. And that was just the beginning. On game day, more than 45,000 K-Staters packed into the Cotton Bowl to watch the Wildcats take on the fifth-ranked Brigham Young Cougars. No team had ever brought more than 28,000 fans to the Cotton Bowl, and K-Staters shattered that mark by more than 17,000. The 45,000 strong is also believed to be the most fans to ever travel out of state to watch their team compete in any bowl game anywhere. They were treated to one of the most exciting games during the 96 bowl season as K-State and BYU battled back and forth in an emotional and physical game that was filled with big plays. BYU scored first on a safety late in the first quarter and then took advantage of good field position following the free kick to set up a 39-yard field goal. That gave the Cougars a 5-0 lead and it appeared a defensive first half would end that way. First down at the 41-yard line, five seconds left. Kavanaugh with a deep drop this time and lets it fly deep to the end zone. Lockett is in there, so are a bunch of blue shirts, and it is caught in the end zone by Anderson. Touchdown! threw up the Hail Mary. Lockett and Anderson and Dean were all in the end zone. Lockett appeared to be the intended receiver. The ball bounced around and came down into the hands of Andre Anderson. After BYU jumped off sides on the extra point attempt, K-State opted for a two-point conversion. And Mike Lawrence leaped across the goal line on this option play to give the Wildcats a three-point halftime lead, 8-5. The Cats dominated the third quarter on both sides of the ball and stretched their lead to 10 on this brilliant 72-yard touchdown catch and run by Kevin Lockett. It's third down along for K-State at their own 28-yard line. Kavanaugh to throw. It's complete to Lockett. Lockett breaks loose. The linebacker Martin chasing him. Touchdown. Two yards for Kevin Lockett. BYU bottled him up in the first half, but he breaks away from Chris Ellison and takes it 72 yards for the score. That play extended K-State's lead to 15-5, to 
but BYU eventually got its offense untracked in the fourth quarter and took advantage of an injury-depleted K-State secondary to score on two long touchdown passes. Wildcat free safety Mario Smith appeared to cause a fumble on the go-ahead drive with this jarring hit. But the Cougars retained possession and scored on the very next play. That gave the Cougars a 19-15 lead with 3.39 left to play and set the stage for a dramatic last-minute drive. The Wildcats moved the ball from their own 28 deep into Brigham Young territory and nearly pulled out the victory. But a reception in the back of the end zone by All-American Kevin Lockett was ruled out of bounds. A crucial fourth down reception by Lockett later in the drive gave K-State first and 10 at the BYU 12-yard line with just over a minute to play. Kavanaugh gets some time and is caught by Lockett. First down, Wildcats. To the 12-yard line. But on the very next play, BYU's Omar Morgan intercepted a pass, allowing the Cougars to hang on to a four-point victory.